Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another day of getting my fat ass in shape. And today, good one, we're doing chest. This will consist of four sets of dips on uh, those two things right there for, for lower pec, and then coming over, do the incline bench for upper pec. So um, the time is 5.38 in the morning. I woke up at five, uh, put the coffee on, wiped the gunk out of my eye, still wiping the gunk out of my eye. Uh, basically yesterday was the first day in this entire thing which I missed a workout. But in my mind, I said to myself, basically, I'm trying to start working out at 5 a.m instead so because the day got away with me yesterday and we went out mum and dad came over had dinner with them etc and then before you know it it's like 10 30 i'm just thinking i actually want to wake up at five and work out because like it's long doing it at the night time and i just after a full day of eating you feel sluggish and stuff like that was right now i'm light i'm breezy uh voice is nice and deep so we're in a better situation and uh yeah i feel like this is a better time to work out for me and if i can keep this up every single day for the next year for example then that'd be fantastic so that's what i'm gonna try and do wake up at five and work out and then uh crack on with my day and do everything else so that's what the uh, agenda is but i thought i'd let you know i want to be honest with you and anyway, to be honest, yesterday, the reveal, how I was looking at 10 o'clock, mum bought some bread, hummus, taramasala, some leftover uh, prosciutto bits from Christmas Day. Whew, wasn't looking pretty. That reveal would not look pretty. And I was dehydrated as fuck. So I necked like an entire litre of water around 10 o'clock, thinking I was going to work out after that. I was like, nah, <laughs> this reveal has kind of looked nuts. So I did you all a favor. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna show you the reveal today. Empty bellied, but yeah, I can't, I couldn't do that to you. You're looking at progress is going backwards. Anyway, so let's get into it. If you're working out with me, work out with me now. We're gonna do a uh, chest, about 30 reps, and then move over to uh, incline bench. Similar, 30 reps. Let's go. That was more like 50 reps, I think. But, uh, I, yeah, they were all assisted. So they were all um, using my legs, but I wanted to uh, get a deep, deep stretch, especially on the first set. I haven't warmed up or nothing. So that was me warming up as well. So the next one should be about 30. Anyway, let's go over to the bench and uh, do some incline bench. By the way, don't know if you can hear that, but it is 
a very wet day. Wet and windy. So, uh, yeah, bear, in, bear, in, bear with us with the noises out going on outside. Sounds like a tropical storm going on. All right, let's go. Ooh. There we go. That's a good 30 right there. Anyway, let's talk about form. What I've been taught is, uh, let me stand you up and do it, is pull your shoulder blades back so that the bench is flat to your upper back. So, like this, rest this part of your back on the bench and then fully extend and then so your arms are like that your chest is fully stretched and then squeeze like towards your inner chest so push forward and that not just like that only that's good as well but like you want to get as much of a contraction as possible so uh yeah that's that's the form i'm going for and uh, if you think I could do it better, let me know, actually. Always down to learn. All right, next set of dips. Let's go. first 20 of them were pretty much hardly even using my legs and in the last 10 I needed that help boy so then that's a, a second set done halfway on the dips look at that it goes quick people it goes real quick oh yeah <sighs> all right next set of bench let's go straight into it Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. Get this fucking camera zoomed out. God damn. All right. Let's go. Oh man, that is good. Right, there's 20 right there. So we're literally halfway now. So if you're working out of me, if you're not working out of me, you may as well work out of me because we're halfway. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that long. So, uh, yeah. I could tell you what I had yesterday. Uh, yesterday I had a chicken wrap 
yesterday was shot with the diet, if I'm totally honest. It wasn't murked, completely fucked, but it wasn't great. Had bread, hummus, tamasla, like I just said, like a chicken wrap, uh, and then, what the fuck did I have for lunch? Oh, yeah, okay, it's fucked. I had a pizza for lunch, but I made it myself, the bread, everything. And uh, it's fucking easy, by the way. Didn't realize pizza is this easy to make. It's just water and flour, like one cup of flour, half a cup of warm water, a little bit of olive oil. Mix that and turn, turn, turn into a dough that you can like roll out so it's not sticky anymore. Roll it out, put it on a baking tray, chuck that in the oven by itself for five, uh, three, four minutes, just so it gets a little bit hard. And then, uh, so it's not a dough anymore. And then put your sauce on, put your mozzarella cheese on, put salt, pepper, oregano on. And then, you know, Italians are not gonna like me for this, but I heard it from Joe Rogan, who I believe is Italian, half Italian or something. And he was on a podcast with Elon Musk and he, they ordered uh, anchovies and pineapple. So, richest man in the world, very rich podcaster, number one podcaster in the world. So who am I to judge? I ordered it. No, not ordered it. I made it. And uh, it was, it was okay. Joe Rogan was talking about, this is like the, the best pizza ever. Uh, no, not for me anyway. Not how I made it, at least. But uh, it was good. But yeah, probably, probably won't do it again. But I do like anchovy on pizza. That's a, that's a damn good shout right there. Anyway, all this uh, pizza talk is making us hungry, right? Let's go do some dips. So, third set, aim for 30 again. <clears throat> Let's go. That's 30 peeps. Next set of bench. Fuck. <laughs> uh, right, here we go. Put you down here. What's this angle saying? I'll give it a go. Let's go. These are 15 kilograms. All right, let's go. Okay, that's good. That's uh, that's uh, third set done. Look at that. Gets done real quick, right? A uh, couple comments I read recently said, this can't be day nine. Look at their moms. And uh, first of all, I wanna say, Stop flirting with me. Second of all, I appreciate the nice comments by moms. Third, I'll mention, I used to be fit. This is like about a decade ago though. 
So I used to go to gym like six days a week for like good time, like right after university. And uh, I had a gym buddy I was going to gym with when I was at uni. Then when I came back, I, I kept on it. Because I'm a young single man about London. Can't be no fat, can't be no fat slob, you know. These girls want to feel six pack. So, and I got close. <laughs> I, actually, no, nah, I think I did have a six pack. Let's be real. I think I did. Uh, and, uh, but it was like a little light one. It wasn't chiseled, you know what I mean? You could see it, but there was still a little layer of fat on top of it. But um, yeah, and then I was looking at pictures the other day of like when I met my wife, uh, who was my you know girlfriend at the time and stuff. Within that first year of going out with each other, I put on all the pounds, like, to, go, to get me up to a fat state. Because you're going out, your restaurants, you're cooking for each other, etc. Your diet's gone out the window, your gym goes out the window sometimes because you're just like, oh, I'd rather spend time with this girl or this person, whatever. And then uh, all of a sudden, before you know it, you've ballooned up. But that's why they say that it's a lifestyle. And you can try to avoid that, and it does sound like a bit douchey to say, but it's real. You have to keep it up, otherwise it's just gonna deteriorate. Just like if you don't maintain your house, it'll get dustier, right? That dust is the fat that your body accumulates. So if you don't look after, if you don't keep dusting, if you keep, don't keep working it off, don't keep eating right, then your body will get, your house will get dustier and dustier, your body will get fatter and fatter, etc. So, unfortunately, <laughs> you just have to keep it up for a long period of time. But the good news is you do get used to it along the way and you learn some good recipes and stuff like that. And then what it does for you mentally, like I mentioned in all these videos, gives you that clarity, gives you that peace of mind, it makes you feel freer, feel lighter, feel like unburdened, take your stress out. Now, this fucking punch is back. I better stop because it's too early and my son's sleeping. But all of these different benefits come from working out, eating right. So bear that in mind when you train and eat for the long term. Anyway, last set and then we're done. Okay, that came around nice and quick. So if you're doing dips with me, let's go. Last set, 30 again. Leave it all out on the field, ladies and gents. Let's go. My chest is engorged with blood, and that's where you want to get to. <sighs> Last set of incline, and we're done. Oh, damn. I'm showing you behind the scenes now. Sorry about that. Got to pay me for that shit. All right, last set. Aim for 30. Stretch it out. Let's go. Oh. 
Oh, yes. Come on. That's 30. That's 30. Done, peeps. Gloves coming off. That is the workout done. So, now, give me a moment, I'll do a reveal for you. By the way, this is why I do assisted dips with my legs on the bench. It's because your boy's a little heavy right now. Little Christmas pudding going on. Little fat tubby bitch. <laughs> nah, I'm working. I'm doing what I'm doing okay. But I still weigh about 88 kg. And like around Christmas period, like yesterday got up to 89. I haven't weighed myself today, but I'll report tomorrow what it is. But if I were to dip with that heavier weight on my arms, no warm up, whatever, even with a warm up, I'll probably end up hurting myself because my arms ain't as strong as they need to be to safely not injure myself in terms of my rotator cuffs. To be honest, mainly my rotator cuffs because these are like little muscles you need to train like this and like this and everyone neglects <laughs> and myself included. Maybe I should do that when I'm just chilling. So I'll probably just toughen them up, but like that's pretty uh, important for like your shoulder mobility and stuff. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, until I am strong enough to do that, and I, ha I have done a couple reps like it in previous workouts, part of this series, but uh, until I can actually do it properly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid it uh, and just keep doing assisted. And what the goal is actually, for all of these exercises I should add, is like, for example, let's say the dips, I'm doing 30 reps, right? When I get to 30 reps unassisted, like just like no legs, just my arms and chest, you know that's gonna be a good day. Because then you can see it's getting stronger and stronger. Like even right now, I could do more than 30 reps, I could feel it in me. So I just need to lessen the load I put on my legs and do more on my chest and arms to get to 30 reps. There's no point doing 100 reps if you can do it with your legs, right? You wanna to get to 30 unassisted. Same with this uh, bench, same with like uh, RDLs that I do, with the squats that I do, with um, the calf raises, with every single exercise I'm, I'm talking about, shoulder raises, traps, uh, pull-ups, etc. right? It can all be done within that rep range. Just make it harder, like I mentioned the other day, by slowing it down, adding more weight, extending your legs or arms so it makes it heavier because it's further out, uh, slowing the rep down, uh, there's five things I mentioned yesterday. But yeah, these are ways you can strengthen your, the, the workout, basically. So uh, you, you wanna use them, really. Okay, reveal time. How are we looking? About there? You put it up a little bit. Hold on, peeps. Okay, let's leave it there. Bit of a slow, slow start today because uh, I woke up at five and all that. Had to tiptoe around upstairs when the little boy's sleeping and that, you know. <sighs> okay, this is where we're at today, peeps. Still got, still got a bunch of boob fat right there. There you go. <laughs> I'll squeeze it for you. But yeah, once you see like this, looking a bit more shapely, then you know we're doing the right thing. You know, arm pose. I know you guys like the arms. Come on.
Maybe. Okay. All right. This is where we're at. Yeah. See, from the chest. See. See. You can see the muscle there, right? But you, but you can see the fat on top of it as well. But the muscle is trying to poke through. So like when that gets nice and chiseled, cut all that fat, well this fat basically needs to go. But we're going, so that's a good thing. Also, a little indicator, I've got this roll right here. <laughs> right there. So when I get rid of that roll, it means things are popping. Because that means my love handles are going. Anyway, that's where we're at. So if you worked out with me, well done. And it's good to have you with me. This series is doing all right in terms of views and a little bit of engagement and stuff. So um, and I'm, I'm enjoying it as well, because it's quite good, well, it's fun to do. I get my uh, exercise in, etc. you know, so. I ain't complaining for sure. But anyway, I'll uh, let's have a quick look here, hold on. Yeah. Anyway, look, if you're, if you're following along with me, you're doing a fantastic job. We're getting your lives, we're getting our lives back together, becoming strong, so we can play with our kids till we're old, and then our grandkids. So Let's be the inspiration to everyone around us, including our little, our little kids. Anyway, hope you all uh, enjoy today's sesh, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for a lat day. I may do it today, actually, because I missed yesterday, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, see you then.